Jackson, Carl Bonac, Weather, and Mike Ludlam Sports. This is your TV6 Early News. Michigan Tech made big news today, but it wasn't in sports or academics. It was outside in a field of snow. Tech officials say students and residents may have broken three world records today, a feat that could get them into the Guinness Book of World Records. They needed 3,000 people to make snow angels and have a snowball fight. They also needed to build a five foot six inch snowball. TV6's Houghton Hancock viewer reporter Jenny Jewell was there and found out if they reached their goal. Graphic in the background of the lift bridge with the huge school children and community and members, college students and professors, the young and the old. Approximately 4,000 people made history at Michigan Tech today by making the most snow angels in the world and participating in the world's largest snowball fight. It's a winter carnival event that will put Houghton in the Guinness World Book of Records once the numbers have been validated. According to event organizers, it will also give Houghton the title snow capital of the world. I came out because I think it'd be sweet to see uh, Houghton and like the surrounding area be like the winter capital of the world. We came up to see the ice sculptures mainly and then we heard about this and made our way here as fast as we could. Students at Tech also broke the world record for the largest snowball today with a snowball next to me at six foot eight. It beats out the current record held by Benton Harbor, Michigan. Theirs was a little under six foot. I couldn't believe the way everybody just came out and supported and everybody was just like ready to go and it was amazing. You the Associated Press reports that the previous record holder for the most snow angels, residents of Bismarck, North Dakota, are upset that Tech, quote, unfairly used school children in their record-breaking attempt, unquote. But organizers say it was a community effort and they did everything by the books. Jenny Jewell, TV6 News, Houghton.